This video is sponsored by Rapid Direct. More about them later. Hey guys, Logan here, and we are straight back into building this race bike engine from scratch. In the last video, we were working on the crankshaft. We ran into some tooling limitations. I've since uh, been on to AliExpress, ordered a left hand and a right hand turning tool, every color insert that they had. We should be able to get most of this external roughing done, and then we'll be able to move on to the big end, so onto the lathe. Right, first little hookup, which I've had with almost every piece of tooling for this lathe, you can sort of see there that the cutter is actually higher than the dead centre by about a mil, and yeah, I've had this with almost all the tooling for this lathe, so I have to quickly chuck the tool in the mill and remove about a millimetre material off the bottom of this, and then we should be on centre. And a few minutes later, we are right on the money. Plan is, I want to face down the spiky edge here so that we've got a nice reference surface uh, and then we can start working our way out. But first I've got to go have a look at the CAD and actually see what the measurements need to be. All right, so here we are looking at the crank and as you can see, 18 mil is the diameter of the two webs. They're 17 mil apart. Have to take into account that we do have a step here to where the bearing seats on both sides. So we need to be careful not to overshoot that. And while we're on the computer, I was gonna show you, I was working on the cam caps uh, yesterday. So yeah, these have got the two bearings, they've got the thrust area, that's where the cam load will be. Got the oil pressure feed, they've got some uh, gravity feed here for the thrust part. So I was thinking of making those cam caps billet, and I probably will, so that's where we've got this big ass piece of 6061 aluminium. Um, I do think they probably would be lighter and they'll look a bit sharper, match the rest of the engine if I did 3D print them and cast them. But I think, yeah, for now we'll probably just try to do them out of billet, see how it goes. Uh, now we've got those measurements, let's uh, do some shooting on the crank. And there we are, I've got that face down to spec and got the wee step and yeah, we need to start doing some of the roughing on this side. So I went over to the mill, removed a bit of meat off the right hand tool so that it fits at the right tool height. That seems to be cutting not too bad. It's actually making a better surface finish than the left hand tool, so I may have to have a quick look into that. But I'm gonna have a quick break, go uh, try watch some MotoGP without falling asleep. Well, that was one of the best Grand Prix races I've seen in a very long time. Zarko in the wet, brilliant. Anyway, messing around on the lathe again and starting to get feeds and speeds dialed in and surface finished. It's looking pretty good, that's almost a size. So now I'm just gonna do a little bit of deburring and clean up some of these edges on the crank. And then I'm gonna start sort of thinking about how I'm gonna tackle this. After a quick debut, we're going to move on to doing the big end, but before that, a quick word from our sponsor, Rapid Direct. Oh wow, oh my lord, bloody awesome. Those of you that have been paying attention will realize this is the guillotine throttle body I designed a couple videos ago, and the whole idea behind it was I really wanted to design something super detailed and intricate that could really highlight Rapid Direct's ability to make dreams a reality, and man, so they did not disappoint. I am blown away with the uh, the surface finish, the detail on the machining, just everything that they have done um, with their manufacturing abilities on this and the intake manifold is just beyond amazing. It is far, far better than anything that I could make, that is for sure. If you have some ideas that you want to make a reality, I have a up to 20% off discount code which you can use at Rapid Direct on your first order. And yeah, you could potentially have something super cool like this. And now I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to order. 
Here we are on RapidRex website. So if you've got a step file for something like prototype, just click here, upload that. And that will take you to this page here and you just click configure. You can select the process you want done. You select the material. They have a million different types of materials. The finish, if you want coatings, etc. And then you just click apply and confirm and then they'll get back to you with an instant quote. Now this throttle body is looking a little bit naked for my liking so I want to put some nice perky velocity stacks on it uh, and so I thought I'd show you the CAD process for designing them on the computer. If you want to see some more CAD like this and more of the design aspect of the project so just let me know in the comments and if you want an awesome t-shirt like this to help support the project uh, flick me an email. And a few minutes later we have ourselves some good looking velocity stacks for our guillotine throttle body supplied by Rapid Direct. And what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to put aside the shiny toys and I'm going to get back to machining the crankshaft so on to the big end. First up I need to grind some cutting angles and some relief on this half inch high speed steel. That seems to be working, so here goes nothing. Thank God for earplugs, because this lathe was making some horrendous noises. Now to swap it back to the other centers. Here we are, quick uh, update on the crank. I've moved it back to machining the mains. I've done as much as I can do on the big end with uh, those tools that I had uh, on me and yeah, ha pretty happy with it. As you can see, there's a few imperfections where the high speed steel was chattering. So I've left extra meat on here for when I've got the proper tooling to machine that off. And now, yeah, moving back onto the mains and just got to turn down. You can see we've got a few different steps where it gets thinner and thinner as it goes towards the end. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with the insides and outsides and everything. I do want to quickly check though if I am turning a taper because when I was making the valve guides, it was, and yeah, we can't have that on the crankshaft. All right, whip out the micrometer and see if we're turning a taper. 32.13. Thirty-two point one three. Fly poop under thirty-two point one three, and it's probably going to start changing when I get to here. Oh no, it's still thirty-two point one three, but then yeah, it sort of goes to to shit over there. Okay, I'm actually very impressed with that. That is bloody good compared to the valve guides, which I was having to sand the taper out. I wonder why that is. Okay, well I'm happy with that, so now just going to start doing the finish machining on this side for a few of these steps. Alright, about four thousandths of a millimetre oversized, so I might just run some sandpaper over it to finish it because my lathe is not that accurate. Final check and we are looking good. Yeah, what's your thoughts on reverse feed? It did make a really cool pattern. Onto the rotor side of the crankshaft to cut out the sprocket which drives the cam chain. Clean up a couple of sharp edges. 
Once again, progress on the crankshaft has been paused due to a lack of tooling, and yes, I am sensing a theme as well. Uh, but the biggest hold up at the moment is this here. Now this is going to be a sprocket. So if you look at the original crank, there's a 13-tooth sprocket which drives the cam chain, which is very important for a four-stroke. So I need a dividing head to machine the sprocket on the milling machine. They're about a thousand bucks new. I don't have one of them at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna have to go buy one. Uh, but yeah, if someone has a second-hand one kicking about that they don't use and they want to sell it, uh, I'm your man. And yeah, other than that, crank is coming along nicely. Very happy with the progress so far. There's obviously a few more things to do, like threads and a taper, and obviously there is an oil gallery as well to feed the big end. But other than that, going good so far. And yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thanks to Rapid Direct for sponsoring this video. It has been awesome. And on that note, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.